Hey guys, I'm Tyra Kopstock and welcome to my channel. I represent Frontline Academy and I'm a student under Eduardo Teta Rios. I'm a full-time Jiu-Jitsu athlete and instructor and I created this page to share my techniques, training and Jiu-Jitsu journey with you. Feel free to like and subscribe and welcome to the family. Os. Hey guys, welcome to another week here at the Intermediate Course and today we're going to go through uh, the 50-50 position and kind of specifically how to deal with it from the top uh, when you're standing. So um, if you haven't checked out the beginners course, please do so. Uh, we went through a sweep there, which is kind of what we're gonna go uh, further with today. So let's say I swept Christian here, I came to the top and now I wanna stand all the way up, okay? And the first thing I wanna do is take away his ability to slump on his leg and try to sweep me down to this side here. So I'm gonna go with this arm here, underhook his shin, and I wanna grab uh, the fabric right beside the outside of his knee, basically. So here I'm controlling his leg, and I wanna keep it tight to me. Uh, more likely I'm gonna be stronger, closer to my body than further away from my body. Also, he's gonna be able to lasso and get his leg free. So I wanna keep it tight here, okay? So now I'm gonna bring this knee underneath me here. Important detail, I'm still keeping this angle, right? At no point am I turning towards Christian here and giving him the ability to sweep me again. So I'm keeping this angle, okay? Once I'm, I have my knee on the floor, I'm still gonna use my hand to go all the way up, okay? I'm gonna keep a nice good posture and I'm gonna stand almost, uh, how should I say, 90 degrees uh, apart from his body here, okay? So you'll see his upper body and you'll see my legs sticking to the side here, okay? Now what I'm trying to do is to get this foot out here, okay? To do that, I'm gonna hip thrust forward, okay? So you'll feel that it's hooking the side of your ribs, but if you posture up and push your hips out, there you go, it's free, okay? Still controlling this leg here, I'm making sure that he's not getting it inside or making it difficult for me. So I'm here always controlling, okay? Now, if you want to, you could always switch for a grip on the back of his heel, that's also working if you wanna go more of a kind of like pressure-based style, but this is also good and loose here, okay? So what I wanna do here is I wanna push his leg so that he's stretching out his whole leg here and he's just sliding past my other leg here, okay? Of course, this depends on the proportions. Let's say the guy on the bottom has a really long leg, you might be crashing a little bit and you have to kind of commit more, right? But if the guy has short legs, then this should be enough. Okay, so what I'm trying to do here is to get this one free, grab his toes and pass it under my legs. Straight away, I'm looking for a knee belly or side control scenario where I'm gonna drop down and control, okay? So from the beginning here, controlling the far leg, keeping it tight, making sure that I'm standing up, looking to the side here, all the way here, 90 degrees, I'm gonna push my hips out, Grab his foot. Now I'm gonna step a little bit to the side to make some space. Boom. And in we go. Okay. One last time. Push for an angle. And there we go. Okay guys, so we're gonna go a little bit further here into a different scenario from the top position. So let's say I got all the way up, boom, here. Even though I got the grip on the other side, he managed to get this leg loose and now he's starting to hook the back uh, thigh here, okay? The problem here is if I just let him control and keep on going, he's most likely gonna get my back, okay? And we don't want that. So. From this scenario, where I'm feeling he's controlling my far or my back leg here, I'm gonna either one, grab his pants. This might work uh, with same weight, or let's say, I should say with, with guys who are lighter than you, basically. But if you feel this is not strong enough, you might have to commit all the way in for the thigh. The problem with the commitment there is that you're gonna be leaning forward and you have a slightly worse base. So you have to time it really well. So now what I'm trying to do is trying to pull this leg 
all the way out here, okay? When this happens and his knees passes my hips, I'm gonna try to sit down, all the way down here, okay? This is gonna end up in sort of like a, a reverse mount position. Um, here you, of course, you can go for some leg attacks. But we're gonna make it very easy here today. I'm just gonna try to go for an underhook here on the uh, other side, and then I'm gonna throw my other leg over and go in to the side control, okay? So, 50-50, he starts hooking the leg, that's fine. I'm now grabbing the pants or grabbing the, the thigh here and pulling the leg through, okay? And when I'm grabbing the thigh, make sure that you're clustering up and bringing your hips forward as you go, okay? And as soon as it passes, I'm sitting down and I'm really trying to move against the, the momentum that's moving forward, okay? So I don't wanna fall forward here because then likely he's gonna chop or push me away and get some distance. So I wanna get close to his hips here and really be on top, okay? This leg might be a little bit of a, how should I say, sticky here behind the arm, but most likely you just have to wave your arm around and then you will be free, okay? Of course, like I said, you can not focus here. We can also just work the underhook and try to slide through into a nice side control, okay? Uh, feels pretty flaw, fly kind of move, uh, especially if you time it well. So I came up, boom, he hooks. I managed to grab, boom, there we go. And if not, <laughs> if not side control, Hopefully you're at least out of the 50-50. Awesome. Hope you guys like the techniques. And as always, please like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Awesome. Hey guys, welcome to another week here at the Intermediate Course. And today we're gonna go a little bit further into the 50-50 position. Specifically, we're gonna be uh, handling the guy when I'm standing and wanting to pass at the person on the bottom. So this is a scenario that happens a lot when you come from the bottom and you stand all the way up. So we're gonna start uh, with the sweep that we did in the beginner's course. So if you didn't check that out, please do. Um, and so I'm coming from this scenario here where I pushed and I came up on top here and starting from the knee, I wanna make sure that I'm gonna underhook the far leg here, okay? So uh, this is gonna prevent Christian from stomping all the way down on this side and pushing me down, but also help me to escape later on as well. Couple of things here, I wanna make sure I'm tight and not loose. Uh, one thing is that I'm weaker away from my body, but also it's gonna be easy for him to lasso his leg out and then he's free again, right? So I wanna make sure I'm keeping it tight for now. So I'm coming up and I'm using my hand to, uh, hand to post and I'm always looking to the side here. But like I've said before, I don't wanna be looking in towards Christian or else it's gonna be really easy for him to tip me over, okay? So I'm making sure to look this way and now, I'm stepping up with this leg here and coming up, okay? Now, what I wanna do here is I wanna push his foot free, okay? I'm gonna grab behind his heel here and I'm also gonna grab the heel on the other side, okay? So I'm grabbing both of his heels and I'm pushing up towards Christian's uh, face here. Uh, I wanna make sure that not both of his legs are coming down as this is kind of like a nice position for him to enter some leg locks. So I wanna make sure I'm always pushing at least this one away from me, okay? Now what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to let him stretch his leg out and so I can pass it underneath between my legs here. Dep depending on the proportions, if the guy is really uh, long and lanky, you might have to step really far, okay? If the guy has really short legs, it might be really easy to just pass it underneath easily, right? So you have to kind of determine that yourself, okay? So step out to the side, pass it under, and straight away I wanna go in for either a knee on belly or down to the side control position, okay? So, coming from here, underhooking, came up, boom, and here we are, okay? Of course, you can work a little bit around here, especially in Nogi, you will feel when the guy is pushing back, and that's the timing to go, okay? I know some guys that like to almost go kind of like a uh, pressure kind of position where they're putting some weight just to make the guy a little bit more frustrated and therefore he's gonna push back and then you come in for the passing position. Okay, so 
pretty basic, uh, but again, uh, it's quite useful way of getting out from the 50-50 position, especially once you've gotten those two points uh, and you got the sweep, and then you can keep on going into a pass. Awesome. Okay guys, so we're gonna go a little bit further here in a different scenario on the top in the 50-50 position. And what we'll see here is when I come up, boom, I got all the way up here. And what happens is he starts attacking my back. Now, a big problem here is if I let him keep going, he's gonna hook both of my thighs, push me away, and maybe get those hooks in and all of that, right? So I don't want that to happen. And so, as soon as I see his leg, or I feel his leg hooking my thigh here, I'm gonna start working a different way here, okay? So, in Nogi, I don't have uh, the pants, so it's really hard for me to just pull his leg by the shin, so I have to go deep and grab the thigh, okay? So, I wanna make sure I'm really timing this well, and not when I'm all the way out here, this is gonna be hard, so I wanna make sure I have a good base and grab his thigh, okay? Now, I'm pulling his thigh through by posturing up, kind of like a deadlift, boom. And as soon as his knee is through, I'm making sure that I'm sitting back, okay? Once I'm sitting back, I'm making sure I'm not falling forward as well. His legs are gonna fall forward if you feel like this leg is hooking tightly the ribs, it's gonna be either easy just to swim it underneath or swim it over. In this scenario, I'm just gonna bring my elbow under, and there we go, okay? There's a couple of things you can do from this position, going for the legs, of course, but we're gonna keep it really simple here today. And I'm looking just for an underhook on the opposite side, and I'm gonna step over, boom, and come into the side control, okay? So, coming up from the 50-50, let's say I try to go for the first technique, and then he managed to get his leg loose and hook the back thigh, okay? Timing it well, I'm gonna grab, especially, the second he legs he gets his hook, that's the timing I'm looking for, okay? I got the leg through, I'm making sure that I'm sitting down on top of his hips. Now, if this is bothering me, I'm gonna bring my elbow under, and there, I'm free, okay? Going for the underhook here, let's just turn so they can see. So underhook here, step over, and here we go into the side control. It might end up in a scrambled position, of course, but I mean, uh, at least, likely, you're out of the 50-50 position uh, and you're still on top, right? Well, thank you guys for watching and as always, uh, please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. That was supposed to be enough. Yeah? We are there. Okay. That's just the we go here. Det blir ju en sån bit tankegång ändå för jag tänker att vi säkert snur mig hela vägen nu så kan jag tvinga mig in i 50 igen. Och ja, så när nej, det slänger det går det går här. Ja, ja, men då måste få den fri. Jo jo. Ja, men men ja, ja, visst du får den fri så är er vi tillbaka i 50-50. Men kan jag göra det hur sig så? Då kan jag. Ja, här. Det ser liksom Oj, ja. nej, nej, där den positionen för vanske för bägge för så vidt. Men tingen är er att okej, okay, så länge knä är här hela här. Okej. Okay. Så är er det som det är er på något att hålla dig lite stilla flatt. Mm. Okej. Okay. Så hvis du prövar beväga dig lite sidan. Ja, okay. Så. Men vi vi lar vi ser lar den gå. Oj, oj, oj. Så är det er super easy. Ja. Ja. Okej. Okay. Men det är kan faktiskt upp sig. Nej, jag mår faktiskt upp. Jag bara tänkte på det. <laughs>